Hi guys, Alex here from Overland and Essentials. Um, today I just wanted to quickly show you something and it's about the video that I did which was the uh, low budget multi-tool versus the Victorinox. Um, I've got both of the multi-tools here. And what I'm just going to do is give you an actual, a better close-up at the two tools because you couldn't quite see them on the day. And I just want to just show you exactly what happened to the low budget tool and what happened to the Victorinox. So follow me into the next part of the video and we'll take a look at those two tools. Okay, so here we are. Let's, uh, we've got the Victorinox and the unbranded low budget. Super nice operation these are, it's so sharp. Um, after all this time you can still kind of chomp through cables, tools that's actually got on it. Get the tools out with a bit more ease. So you've got the knife, zoom in a bit so you can get that blade. You know that's a, like I say, that's about 18 years old. See there, Victorinox stainless steel, Switzerland. These are nice too, I just as we're up here, these are the actual switches so that you can close each function. So yep, yeah, it's a, like I say, it's a quite chunky flathead, pretty sturdy tool that one, uh, which is uh, like a chisel. Same same type of thing. You could probably use it as a flathead, but it is actually a chisel. Um, and if you can see that there, next up is your bottle opening, um, kind of smaller flathead, can opening. It's quite sharp still, and again, it's got a small. Quite a small uh, flat head on the top there as well. Then you've got your saw, really nice saw, double toothed. That's your tools on one side. Okay, the other side, we got uh, like a, quite a small um, flat head, uh, type of poking flat head there. Really chunky again. There's no messing around there. That's a, been a really good tool like a sharp edged, uh, that's kind of like a, um, I can't think of the word for it now, but you kind of count, you can use it, uh, you spin it around over a hole and it kind of count, count the sinks it. So when you put the screw in, the head stays flush and then you've got your scissors. And a file, which actually still works pretty well as a file. It's also a saw on this edge, as you can see there, I've been chopping something or other there. But everything works as it should, clipping and opening, and when it closes, it's as it should be straight and straight, no bends or twists or anything like that. So that's uh, that's the Victorinox. So let's go ahead now and have a look at the the unbranded low budget. Now, as you can see, after all that testing, first thing you notice is that it doesn't close straight anymore. Um, once you open it out, you can start to see that it's, it's well, it's quite stiff, and then. There's the other obvious right there, is that it doesn't even close properly anymore. You know, from twisting, if you go back and watch that video, you can see I really twisted that metal, uh, that um, high tensile, and it just twisted these plier heads. I just from pretty much trying to cut it, if you see indication that this tool is inferior, is that they just fall out now you can see that we've got a slight issue going on here with the fact that it's not straight anymore. The fish descaler, if I remember correctly, that broke off along with the bottle opener, which also snapped off. I mean, if you just look at this, it really it's bending like, you know, it might as well be made out of uh, it's like tin, really. Oh no, the descaler and the what's supposed to be a file, which is obviously not because you couldn't file much with that, it is in fact all um, broke, it twisted off, another bottle opener or something or other there, um, and a quite a badly destroyed uh, Phillips screwdriver there. So if you look in there, is that rosteri, which I believe is uh, another word for stainless steel, but who knows? Um, so yeah, that was the low budget tool. Now um, it doesn't really want to close anymore. Using that up, and that's like that because it just falls out. That's going to be quite nasty if you're doing that in a hurry. 
really not ideal. Wouldn't suggest it to anyone. Look at the difference. Shake it that way. Yep. Yeah, so again, that was the two tools. Just a close up, just so you can see them a little bit better. See what we actually had on the day. I think it's just, it's one of those things. It's worth investing in. It's worth spending that bit of extra cash. It doesn't have to be a Victorian Ox, of course. So, um, I hear that Gerber's got some good tools. I haven't tested them, so I couldn't tell you what they're like. Um, perhaps we can uh, put one of the, the high end up against the high end. Maybe, uh, uh, I don't know, Leatherman up against Victorian Ox? What do you reckon? Or maybe Gerber against Victorinox. We should, we should, wish that will be the next video. Let's give that a try and uh, see how they do against each other. But like I say, it is well worth, uh, I say, because I know this, the Victorinox is, is definitely worth the money. And I've had this a long, long time and it's lasted. Well, that's it for now, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, hit the bell button, you'll get notified when new videos come up. If you've got any questions, stick them in the comments. I'll be happy to answer them. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.